coming to the implementation part, let's just simply create a project. Let's say give the application name as sample activity. transaction now let's create the app as the 2.2 say next 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 let's say finish now in this I have this is my application so this is my layout file inside the layout file now what I will do here is I will pass the data which data I will pass I will take a edit text here and I will write something inside it. Then I will pass what I will write here inside this edit text to the second activity. Let's see how does it work. I just pull down a text box. I would like to put this edit text on the top. I just want to increase the side of my uh, text view so that the heading should be in a it can be visible in a good way so I just say text size should be let's say 25 now now let's do one thing as it's a relative layout let's just change it to linear layout because as we have already understood the concept of linear layout when we are putting up things in a linear manner we should always use the linear layout because layouts are always a factor to depend on the performance of your app or how much fast your app is responsing so I just convert it to linear layout let's convert it margin top, margin bottom, etc, etc, you can be removed because these contents you do not need anymore as it's a simple one. Now the same you can remove the that's it. Now one thing you need to do is you need to put a property that is the you have already done that is the text size so text size is already there and you need to define one thing that linear layout is by default always in a vertical orientation sorry horizontal orientation so here you need to change the orientation of your layout just change it quickly and then you say like it's vertical you want to keep it so you just change it to vertical and then you can see it's working now you just change it to like you can say intent example you save it I will also take a button so that I can click on that button and once I click on that button then we can move to other activity on which we want to see that data so I just take that button just put it down I can change the name of this button go to activity 2 now so you can see that I have changed the name here now you can transfer the data from this activity to other activity simple as that now coming back you can just simply save it Now, after this, you have to create another XML file because one XML file will work for one activity, another XML file will work for another activity. Okay, Ashish got a question. Uh, Ashish is asking that. 
Yes, Ashish, you can. Ashish is asking that can we put the the same layout in a relative layout fashion? Yes, definitely. This can be done in a relative layout fashion when you are when you want to do like highlight the the particular text view at the top, and you have certain requirement like on the left hand side you want to show uh, the particular uh, kind of like. Uh, the ID text and to the right of it you want to show the button definitely you can do it uh, this right away have you understood okay yeah now coming back to this example uh, just quickly <coughs> create another XML file which I'll be using in second activity so I say when I want to create another XML file I just simply need to say uh, right click on the folder as I did right click on the folder layout folder I come to new okay then after this you have to go if you can see creating Android XML file I can't see the option here so I press other the moment I press other what I want to do is I want to go I want to create Android XML file okay the moment I want to create Android XML I just select it and then say next here I can say what type of XML file I want to create so I simply say I don't, I don't want to create a simple linear layout file I can name it name should be always in a small case alphabet and you can only use underscore you cannot use hyphen you cannot use uh, capital letters so simply you can name it like second underscore activity or make it like activity underscore second dot XML then you say next now simply you say finish you can see your another XML created over here now you can simply want to open it as it's already open now because you have just initiated it now what I want here is I want a edit text and a button so in this edit text I want that I want to show the data which I am getting from the first activity and at the same time when I click the button it should go back to my previous activity so I just click this thing I bring it here okay and yes leave it like that now what I want is uh, I will not take the button instead of taking the button what I will do is I'll use the Android default back button to go back to my previous activity so this is how I will be able to make it up now when I create this uh, simply what is going to happen is okay we got another join Mithaili has uh, joined us uh, Mithaili you are talking about the concept of intent we are just simply talking about the concept of intent that is if I have an application for an example where I have a login page and the second page is a home page now what I want is <coughs> now what I want is if from the login page I enter my user ID and password and I click on the button and I go on second activity that is home activity and I want to show my user ID over there here I am trying to do one thing that is passing my data from activity login to my activity home when I have such requirement there is a way to do it the way to do it is you can use something called as intent intent is nothing but a class in your uh, Android and it allows you to initiate the components in Android like you want to start activity in component from activity A you want to start activity B this you can handle or you can start with the help of intent that's what the practical example I'm showing in and the same intent will also help you to transfer data from one activity to other activity like from activity A I want to transfer the data from to activity B the same can be achieved now so the same example we are uh, doing here I have I have one activity and that activity I have already taken in this activity so this is my one activity what I have taken here is first is my edit text below to that I have something called as a heading like intent example and below to that I have a button which will 
which is like go to activity 2. When I click this button, it will take me to the second activity. Now, what happens is what I want to do here is whatever I will write inside my this edit text, the moment I will click this button, I want to transfer that data whichever is there inside this text box to other activity and I want to show it on the other activity to the user. And then again, I, when I will come back, I can come back here and I can change the data and again I can go to the second activity. So this is the example which I am illustrating here. For this I am creating the second window. The second window where I will show the data. So on this window what I did is I just created a simple edit text. I will leave it like this because even if I want to go back I can use an Android default back button to go back. So I just save my XML file. Now is the point when I should come to my Java file. So far is it clear? Once the practical will be done, you will be see, you will understand more. Is it clear so far? Mitali, Nikita, everyone, are you clear so far? Okay, okay, cool. Everyone is clear. Now what I want is, what I am going to do here is, first thing you need to do is, you need to create the objects of uh, the edit text and the button so that when you click on the button it should move to the next screen and everything. So first we'll create like object of the edit text for the first screen. So I just created like edit text first screen. Now Below to this, I just create the same for button also. I just say PTN, as simple as that. Now, we'll define it. We'll put values like, first we'll do the type casting the way we keep doing like edit text because our find view y id will return. Now you can choose the particular ID. That's it. Come down. The same you have to do for button. You just simply choose it. Come to the end. Okay, I just got a question from uh, Rali, she is asking that when we will do the practicals. Metali, whatever we explain here, those examples or based on those examples, you are expected to do practicals, you are expected to do the applications. Then once you do the application, of course you will get errors and you will get problems. The moment you are getting problems or error, at the same time you can call our support guys, they will help you right away to sort out the problem or to make you able to understand the problem and sort it out. This is how you are supposed to do the practicals for one by one for every and each concept. The more you practice, the more you understand. So I, I, I actually recommend everyone to practice different different kind of application with what all you have understood so far. Use basic widgets which we have did like using uh, kind of uh, date picker, time picker, everything and then we'll be able to do it more better examples.